Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Bomberman for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. We are now on stage 5, and it is a boss rush. I start out by pressing A and B simultaneously, so that when the white Bomberman loses his invincibility, he falls. I then drop all these bombs where the black Bomberman is going to show up. And then I wait for him to stop flashing before I blow him up. Horizontal bombs explode first, so I replace those, and remember that the vertical bombs are going to go explode next. Down goes the red one after I place a bomb right here. And I kind of mess up, but... I do place myself where I need to. Blow up the blue bomber man. Get the green guy over here. And then kick the one bomb I need left right to him. I blow up the skull right then and there. So that way I don't have to deal with it later. And from here, because my strategy of surrounding the guy with bombs stops working, I now have the just be really crafty with my bomb kicks and then just kick the bombs at my opponents and hope they pretty much die. Yeah, from, from Green Bomberman onwards, from the evil Green Bomberman onwards, the enemies take two hits to kill instead of one. And as you go through this battle, the evil Bomberman become more and more intelligent. The AI gets better and better. And there's the purple one, which I also have to be just as crafty with. I leave the bombs here so that way he'll just stand there while his vulnerability wears off. The worst part about this battle is running out of time. Thankfully, I would manage to luck at and get a few clocks here and there. And from there on, I just make sure that That I, I, I just make sure that I try not to blow myself up as I do this. I don't know how to explain this, especially when I'm doing this with post-commentary, but at least the purple Bomberman is the last one. There's a time there, and I get taken to another room, lights flashing in and out, and I get placed right on that tile there. That's where the skull was. That's where the skull randomly just popped up there, and I would have grabbed it at the start of this battle if I didn't get rid of it. So now we have an evil gold bomber man. The evil gold bomber man, he can kick bombs, so the strategy of surrounding him with bombs will not work. But the same craftiness remains, you just kind of have to get him in position so you can kick remote bombs at him and then blow him up. At least that works, and I got it to work for me. And now, the bad guys are running away to the sixth and final stage of the game. We are now on 6-1, and we will be playing 6-1 in the next video. So join me next time for what will hopefully be the finale of Super Bomberman for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!